All right, Coach, uh, a little bit of a challenge today, having to get up early and get out here and play at 11 a.m., but you, uh, the girls showed out there in game one, get the 21 to nothing win, and then uh, Bevel State was able to earn the split with a 6-3 win. Just talk about how the day went for you and your team. Yeah, we talked about this uh, yesterday, that it was uh, a good that we moved it up an hour, 11 o'clock start with a new format we're going to have this year with the playoffs. We're going to have an 18 double elimination tournament. And somebody's probably going to have to play a 10 or 11 a.m. start, you know, and probably going to have that two or three days in a row with the tournament now. So I told them it was good for us to get that practice, to get out here and have to travel an hour and a half, play early and see what we would come out, you know, kind of, uh, you know, early on a Monday morning, see how we would show up. And we did. We showed out and put up a lot of runs and just had a lot of fun and got after them in game one. And then uh, game two was, a, you know, a whole different story. I thought number 20 for them, she controlled the uh, the circle and she controlled at bats and we had some uh, miscues on offense some base running mistakes we normally don't make and it's a it's a big learning curve for these freshmen right now okay uh, if you can talk a little bit about that learning curve uh, you know with it being another road game second of the season uh, just talk about how that learning curve is of not necessarily affecting but how they're responding to it yeah it, it's uh college softball is a lot different than anything most of them have ever done or have ever done as far as you know through junior high high school or even travel ball as far as just the level of competition and, and a good coach uh, coach brown does a great job at Elbow state all teams we play on our schedule there's no cupcakes and if you make a mistake they're going to take advantage of it if you make base room mistakes you know they're going to take advantage of it if you're not in the right position on defense they take advantage of it and then i thought their pitcher just did a tremendous job adjusting to the umpire strike zone and our hitters, uh, we worked on it last night, but we just didn't have a very good game plan right there and uh, ran ourselves out of some innings with just some miscommunication on some signs and just, uh, you know, trying to do too much. I think some of them right now just got to settle into the college game and, you know, and it's gonna, like I told them, the best is yet to come. All right, Coach, well, best of luck Wednesday and hopefully the rain will hold off so we can get a game in in Fulton. Uh, sounds great. Thank you.